What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with droidforums.net and today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, make your Droid 4 phone feel and look like a stock AOSP device even before custom ROMs come out. You know that this phone come out just a few days ago and we do not have custom ROMs for this phone but we can make it a whole lot snappier and quicker just by doing a few things. Uh, the first thing we want to do here is install ADWX launcher that's going to make this a whole lot cleaner and snappier. There's not a whole lot of lag here, but if you pull this screen really quickly, you see like a uh, it's kind of an effect where it just kind of makes the pictures look kind of crappy. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, the processor in here is awesome. We got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, and there really isn't much lag. But to make things even snappier, we're going to head to the market and we're going to download ADWX launcher and I've already purchased it it's a I believe it's about a buck 99 on the market and it's well worth it it's gonna make your experience on the droid 4 so much better the instant that you install it you're gonna notice a huge difference uh, so that's the first thing that we're gonna do and then I'm gonna show you guys how to de-bloat your phone you will need to be rooted and I have uploaded to this channel uh, the method for rooting your droid 4 phone so you're gonna need root uh, to remove the bloatware but removing the bloatware is going to be essential to making this phone look and feel like stock Android uh, when I say feel like stock Android it's going to speed up the device a whole lot because you're getting rid of all that crapware that uh, takes up precious uh, resources on your phone so we're going to go ahead and turn on our ADW launcher and just right off the bat you notice that things move a whole lot smoother here. There's also tons of features if you click on the menu you can go into more and ADW settings and you can play in here for hours just really making the device your own. Who really wants blur anyways? That's Motorola's view of what we want in a phone. I want what I want on my phone, right? So before custom ROMs, I'm going to go ahead and slap on ADW launcher. That's the first thing I'm going to do. The second thing I'm going to do is remove bloat. The way that I do that is a device called Titanium Backup. That's about $6 on the market. So you're looking for Titanium Backup. And all you have to do here in Titanium Backup is go to this Backup and Restore tab, find your bloatware, and freeze it. So like this Amazon Kindle app, I'm never going to use that. I have a Kindle Fire. I really don't need to read books on my 4-inch display. I'm going to freeze that. The next thing I'm going to do is run down here to this apps because I'm not going to buy any apps from Verizon. I'll go to the Android market, freeze that. And all your bloatware, you just freeze it. That way when an update rolls out, all you have to do is go back in there and defrost. And now you're able to receive the update. So if you went into the system through Root Explorer, you could just uh, rename those to dot .bat. And uh, they would be there, but that's just a lot of trouble. I like to go into Titanium Backup and just go in there and freeze all this bloatware. And it will remove it from your device. It's not going to remove it completely, but it won't show up in your app drawer. It's not going to run in your background processes. Uh, the ones that really get on my nerves are the Verizon applications like the VZ Navigator. I would never use that. Um, the little video player and surfer. These are things that I'll never use. They put it on the phone because the phones are subsi subsidized and they're trying to make a little more money off of you because they're losing some money on the phones. They already stick it to you with the plans, and now they're trying to force applications on you. Um, but there's ways around that to where you don't have to have it all up in your grill trying to make you use it. So anyhow, that's how we're going to remove those apps. Now if we go to the app drawer, there's a lot less in there bugging us. Let's see, we may have to restart the phone to get those to be removed from the app drawer. So we'll restart the phone real quick. And those should be gone from our app drawer. And so that's just a quick tip for speeding up your device before custom ROMs hit. I know that there's some developers already working on custom ROMs for the Droid 4. Uh, Nitroglycerin, the guy that brought us the bootstrap 
Uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery for the Razor is already developing and already has out a beta. Well, it's not really out to the public, but a few of us have been able to test it. And uh, some people are having it to work which is great, we're moving in the right direction. We almost have clockwork on Droid 4 for the masses, and then soon after we'll have... Okay, so you see my Amazon Kindle app's not there, Blockbuster's no longer there, those apps that I froze are gone. So the apps that I froze are gone, see the Verizon apps, those are all gone. So that's going to speed up my device, it's going to make it feel more like my own and not like something that uh, Motorola shoved down my throat when I spent, you know, 600 bucks on a new device. So guys, uh, for more tips and modifications on the Droid 4, we're going to cover the Droid 4 very heavily on this channel. Make sure you subscribe to the Droid Forums channel. Also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and head over to droidforums.net for all the latest in news on Android devices. Guys, I'll see you in the forums.